Mm, I'm gonna get it on my toe. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, and it is literally freezing here. Sunshiny, not raining, but freezing cold. We are reading in the greatest shoe. We are just about to be on chapter five, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> which I was laying in bed a while ago and I was arguing with myself. Said, oh no, we're already on chapter five. We're in the middle, blah, blah, blah. And I was arguing. I said, shut up, Christina. Grow up. Get alive. Get over yourself. Just go read the darn book. Let's read the book. Trent needs you to get up and go read him. So I'm up and I'm reading him. Yes, I am wearing blue lipstick today. I feel like reading. Wear reading. Yeah, I feel like reading too. I feel like wearing blue lipsticks, lipstick today. This is a blue shade from Dragon Star. Love it. I had it on early this morning. <laughs> and my husband said, what the hell were you eating? That's a blue. Was it your Captain Crunch cereal? And I was like, nope. It's lipstick. And then he tells me to stay away from him with the blue lips. Which, I wanted to kiss him on the cheek and tell him bye when he went to work. But no, I didn't. Because I am freezing cold. If you saw my little post on Facebook, the little chihuahua all bundled up. That would be me right now. I am freezing cold. I had the heater on, turned the heater off because it got hot. And I'm still cold. And I'm like, going to lay in bed, snuggle on a pan of bear blanket, and enjoy the day. So, let's see if we can take two on this. And let's go. Everybody can win. That's what we're reading about. In case you're still not completely concerned that the short-term plans of burning the bridges is a better than the long-term antimony of keeping that bridge up. Let me make some more important or in, in, important point. It's very possible that burning your bridge is what everyone involved needs you might be dealing with the idea of breaking up a relationship that isn't good for you but maybe both of you are able to move to other relationships if you have the strength to move from one from this one maybe walking away from a group a will expired and others in that group and help them make the kind of improvements in their lives that you are making in yours and everyone will come out a better resort okay my husband sent me a text a while ago the sweet he texted me on facebook and he sent me a little thing well something i posted on facebook years ago well actually it was like probably last year i posted it on my facebook timeline on facebook and then I believe I also sent it to my best friend. And it's about that if you fart, it brings your relationship closer together. And it helps you live a longer life. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. My farts don't smell like better roses. Oh, God, no, do they? No. My farts don't smell like no dang better roses. It smells like a sewer, raw sewage chemical plant. That's what my farts smell like sometimes. Sometimes they don't stink, but most of the time they do. But what really stinks is when you're taking a bath, you go bloop, 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 bloop. <sighs> That happens a lot to me. It's bad. So if that is true, then honey, be prepared, baby. And love you. Anyway. I've had experience with both of these scenarios. Do you remember the girl I told you about in chapter one? Our relationship was on and off again. And sometimes it was great. Sometimes. It really wasn't somewhere deep in my heart. I possibly knew that this relationship wasn't good for either of us. But I definitely wasn't acknowledging that. And I certainly wasn't thinking it was time for it to end. 
Then one day, she walked out of my life. I guess she finally saw that our future together was not going to play out well for her. And she converted herself that sitting out was the best thing for her fortune. When she left, I was devastated. I felt rejected and lonely. And in that moment, I couldn't understand why it had happened. Breaking up with me must have been a painful thing for her. And I'm sure it takes her to English both. Just before the, the right after. But she was right to do it because we've got unhealthy plans. And I know her fortune was better without me than it would have been if we stayed. And my husband's texting me again. Um, together. That breakup really shook me up. And you know what? I also really woke me up. I saw that the breakup happened because I was letting. And he's still texting me. Letting myself get into a bad habit like partying too much and being unfaithful and not making my effort to improve myself. And once I walked to that, that fact, I started making the moves that got me to much better place. I might never happen if it stayed together. So her burning the bridge with me was the best for both of us. I saw this from the other positive when I split from the social group I've been telling you about before I'm, before I made the move. I thought long and hard about making it and telling the group I couldn't be with them anymore was rough. Some people in the group understood when I said that I was doing it for my son. But a bunch of the others hated the idea that they weren't going to get into the VIP rooms or rubbing elbows with famous people anymore. I had to face some serious ang anger and criticism. And that was not easy to say, easy to take. When people challenged me about it, I would just say, we can't hang out like we used to. I'll be there if you need me, but I have to work on me. I have to step away and go into my little room so I can be better. That didn't always help, but it's facing things happening over time. Some of the people in that group not only started to understand why, I need understanding. I needed to step away from them, but they gained some inspiration from the work I was doing. They looked at where they were and complete compared it to where they wanted to be. And they started working on their own lives. They saw that I was much happier and in a much happier place. And then they wanted some of that for themselves. So they did something of that work that I've been going and it's made a real difference. A couple of people from the group are back in my life now and the new relationship we have is much stronger and healthier than the previous one was because they struggled and pushed themselves and their lives have matured because of it. You can find yourself in exactly this situation if you have to courage to burn bridges that need to be burned. If you know it's the best thing for you. If you've done the work that we did earlier in this chapter, you probably decided that you can be the best version of yourself as long as your particular bridge is still standing. But it also might very well be the best thing for everyone involved. Other people might need that bridge 
to be burned as much as you do, but they just can't see it or they just not strong enough to do what has to be done. When you make the move, I'm just kidding already. Make the move for them. You should be starting a process that's getting them where they need to go and might even get them back in your life at some point. This is time with a bridge that leads to growth. So while there's no getting around the fact that burning bridges is a hard thing to do, bringing with it planned and some very difficult days. There are benefits to doing it go even further than improvement. It makes your own life think about that as you start to light the fire to bring down the bridges. That fire might also light a spark in others that lead them on their own better path. And there is a final point I have to make here. A bridge is not a person. The bridge you're burning is not the same thing as the people involved. You're burning the bridges because the bridges is not converse to your political and does more move you for it. But when you burn a bridge, you're not burning the person so to speak. You're burning the path that has led you to salvation. And that is good for your life. You don't have to hate any of the people involved or think that they are bad people. But what they're bringing into your life is simply not good for you. We'll talk more about this later when we discuss forgiveness. Some questions for you to address. Burning bridges is the biggest place piece of process you're working on together. You can't become the greatest you as long as you have bridges leading you to a place that keeps you from growing. Burning bridges requires facing some tough realities about your situation and your vision of the future. So I'd like you to answer a few questions before we move on. Were all your see, were all of the bridges in your life leading you? Where are all, all the bridges in your life leading you? Can you tell the difference between a bridge that needs burning and one that just needs some repairs? Who is draining you? How much does your future matter to you? Which future looks better than one where you stay in your current situation or the one where you go? We've got some more challenging to work to in the next chapter, but you're up for it by now, I'm sure. I'm just getting where you are in the process already means that you have the stuff you need to keep going. Okay. To answer this, were all your bridges, all of the bridges in your life, let's see, where are all the bridges in your life leading you? Well, half of my bridges are leading me up to good. And part of it's leading me down to bad. Some of it could lead me to my husband not wanting me no more because of something I I was doing. It could, or it could stay the same, you know. But for me to explain, I've always talked about this guy that had a crush on me around in my neighborhood. And we talk, and we're good friends, but he wants more than friends, and I don't want to have more than friends. But 
when I'm with him talking, and we go to where my cousin works at the pier, and we're talking, I won't go nowhere with him unless there's a whole bunch of crowd. I don't trust him. Trust goes a long way with me. Okay. So, the bridge there is, he's leading me down the wrong path. If I stay and keep talking to him, I keep listening to his top side stories of how much he's never going to see my top or my bottom or ever have sex with me or ever have anything to do with me. But it's actually really not bringing me down. It's actually bringing me up. It's making me want my husband more. The more he talks about him wanting me or not getting anything from me makes me want to have more sex with my husband makes me want my husband more, makes me love my husband even 10 times more than what I love him now. And that's a good thing. Who's draining you? Okay, well, yeah, my kids were draining me at once because, you know, I was worried about my sons. They moved out. I was worried about them. My stepdaughter moved out and then she moved back in So until she finishes high school. That worried me. That was draining me down, giving me worries. Are they okay? Are they doing fine? How are they? But then I got over it once my boys, and they told me, I'm fine. I'm doing okay, Mom. You don't have to worry about me. Okay. I let that bridge go. That bridge tumbled down, and I let it go. Now, that's not draining me. The guy is draining me by, anybody can drain you by asking stupid questions or, Oh, right. I'm never going to get to see your titties. I'm never going to get to see your pussy. I'm never going to get to see your pussy. Right, 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 right. That irritates the shit out of me. If I tell you no once, put it in this head right here. And realize no means no. And it's never going to happen. Don't keep asking. How much does your future matter to, to me? My future matters 100% to me. I want to be, I wanted to be like my mother when I was younger. Grow up, be a wise woman, be smart, have a good job, you know, be a good mother, be a good daughter, a good wife. And I was all that when I was married to my first husband. Of course, he treated me like crap. Now, next thing. And now with my husband now, I know he wants me to get a job and I'm working on that. It's just school is not over yet and the new year hasn't started. Anyway, which future looks better? The one where you stay in your current situation or the one where you go? I say where I'm headed now is going to be better than what I was in. My current relationship, or current, um, what is it, relationship, um, current situation, I'm sorry, relationship, current situation. Reading just this part of the last chapter of chapter four made me realize I do have some things I want to change and I want to change them as soon as possible. So I know what I have to do, but. I'll let you know in depth if I really do it or not. So I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you are new to my channel, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Please give me a 30-day free trial. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of all my videos I upload. I do upload videos seven days a week. Until next time, guys, I love y'all and hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.